is KPM League Basketball tonight from Newbyport High School. The Newbyport Clippers host the Georgetown Royals. Being everybody, this is Richie Eaton along with Jeff Foley and Sarah Bocho on camera. And it's kind of a replay of the game we had a couple weeks ago, actually during the holiday tournament. Yeah, they know, each, they know each other pretty well. I don't think there's been a lot of changes on either team, uh, which means that um, I, th I think the coach is going to be looking for things that they go over in uh, practice. Uh, I think he's going to be looking for a couple things, actually. I think he's going to look for effort. He's going to be looking for hustle. Uh, and also, it's amazing how much time these coaches spend uh, with the films and going over each uh, player's play. And they'll be, they'll be watching each play player individually tonight to see if they can uh, improve on what they've been practicing. Yeah, the last time they played, uh, Newbyport was uh, victorious in the championship game in the Mike Lewinsky uh, holiday tournament. Newbyport won 67 to 43. Clippers coming in, record of 7 and 1 overall, 7 0 in the league. And the Royals are 2 and 5 overall, or 2 and 3 in the league. 3 and 3 in the league will be pretty good for uh, Georgetown if they can get the win tonight. Georgetown Royals. Clippers will be in the white, Georgetown will be in the blue. The nice side from the road today on the uh, McClellan boys. Yes, I, I read that. It was uh, very nice. Okay, here comes the starting lineups. I don't think the, I don't think the coaches like when their players read articles in the uh, big papers about about themselves. Allen lineup number two in there. Number four, Ethan Block. Ethan Block, number four. Starting tonight. Number 22 is JT Murphy. 22 is JT Murphy. Number 24, Brendan Willis. 24, Brendan Willis. And number 34, Hunter Lane. Number 34, Hunter Lane. The Royals are coached by Eric McCarthy. Uh, what about? Was Hunter wearing and now the starting lineup. Looks like Hunter's wearing number 30 tonight. And guard number zero, George Coriel. The Clippers, George Coriel. And guard number three, Ryan Archie. Ryan Archie at guard. And forward number 13, Jake Robertson. Number 13, Jake Robertson. Forward number 44, Parker McLaren. Parker McLaren, number 44. I'm interested in seeing if uh, George Coriel can be driving to the hoop and then maybe dishing off a little more tonight. I think the beginning of the year his knee might have been bothering him and he wasn't at full strength. But as he gets healthier, uh, that's what I look forward for him to do. And we set to go. Controlled by the Clippers. Archie gets it over to Coriel. Georgetown in a man-to-man. Parker McLaren outside. Clippers just moving the ball around. Yeah. Casey at the top of the circle, passes off. Archie for three, no good. Rebounded by the uh, Hunter Royals. Lane has been assigned to Casey McLaren. Hunter with the ball, Hunter Lane drives, knocked out his hand by Coriel, picked up by Coriel. Down to Parker McLaren. Robinson pulls baseline, passes out to Archie for three, no good. And a foul on Casey McFarland, reaching over the backs. That was a nice box out by Hunter Lane. Casey with maybe two or three inches over him, uh, thought he could go over his back, got called. Royals with the ball, Hunter Lane outside. Jump shot is up and no good. Re rebounded by a ball. Uh, shot is no good by Wino. Uh, tipped out of uh, rebounded by the Royals. They did a good job up there. It's uh, stolen away by Coriel. And Coriel is fouled on the play. Yeah, Georgetown was uh, hitting the boards pretty good right there. Got a couple rebounds and a couple loose balls. Fouls on Murphy. 
Coriel going to line to shoot two. Free throw's no good. One more coming. And second free throw is no good. Tip back by Robinson over to Archie. Tip by Casey McLaren. Archie drives, puts it up and in. Ryan Archie. And the Clippers lead 2 0. I like to see more of that Archie and George Coriel driving the lane. Knocked away by Archie, picked up by McLaren, down to Mark, uh, Casey. Case, Casey was fouled. Bow was on four of Ethan Block, his first second on the team. Put the ball underneath. Coriel will put the ball in play. Robertson and Jake puts it in. Jake Robertson. That's four cool nothing for this. Full court press by Newburyport. See how Georgetown can break it. Lane out of my pocket. By Newby Port. Quickly down court to Robinson. Robinson drives, lays up in. Nice pass by Clark yes. and Byron to Jake Robinson. Good fast break. Off the uh, pressure and the turnover. Underneath is stolen away, knocked away, but picked up by the uh, Royals. Now it's put the by Casey, puts it up and in. Casey McLaren makes it 8 nothing to report. Murphy with the ball, passed up the line up. Underneath now to uh, Willis. Murphy passes it over to the left, inside the lane. Playing, got it by Parker McLaren. Turn around shot is open. no good. Rebound by Parker McLaren. Shot is up, no good. Rebound by uh, Lane. And timeout called by Georgetown. So clip is quickly out front, eight nothing. So be Royal Ball. JT Murphy with the ball. Got it by Trevor Waters in the foul. Gagnon also in there. Stored away by Bobby. Bobby get in and rebound by Gagnon over to Trevor Ward. Robinson outside. Drives and he's tripped to the play. It's going to be on uh, Willis, his first. Third on the team. We clip a ball underneath. So Coach Clay is going small here. Not sure why he's taking Parker out and he comes in with a couple of uh, shorter players, Ward and Gagnon. Gagnon with the ball. Robinson gets it back out to Gagnon. Casey McLaren from outside the circle for three is no good. Rebound by Trevor Roy. Blocked on the play by uh, Block. A block, block. With him. Traveling against the Royals, we need to a ball with 4.13 to go here in the first. Max Gangan put the ball in play. Out there, Harry Bovey. Casey to Robinson. Robinson for three. Nope, nope, no basket. Fouls that, on Bovey. That shot did go in, even though it doesn't count, which is nice to see Robinson start to take a few more shots. He's, he's got a good shot from the outside. He does, and he's uh, with the other shooters on the team. I think he's a little hesitant to shoot the ball. Maybe the coach is uh, encouraging him more to take that outside shot, well, especially with Parker off out of the game. Out of bounds, we need to a ball. Jack Lucido is in the lineup now for the Royals. He's only a freshman. He played a good game the last time he played here. 
Yang in with the ball, and Casey. Robinson drives, passes off. That's Kobe. nice. Kobe, nice basket. That's nice a pass. nice play. 10-0 Newburyport. That, uh, that off balances Newburyport's outside shooting well when they can uh, drive to the hole like that and dish it off. Shido shot, no good. Rebound out of bounds with the Newburyport ball. 3.15 to go in the first, 10-0 Newburyport. Yang and bringing it up for the new Clippers. Over to Casey McLaren. Robertson, Robertson for three. It's good. Nice. Boy, nothing but net. Seven points by uh, Robertson. Might be the coming out party for Robinson. Robertson. Offensive foul. Nice Gagnon. call. Yeah. A little out of control. This first. Post him up. Kaylane coming in the lineup along with uh, Rousseau for new report. Post him up when you can. Let me see. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong number. That was uh, 11. Uh, I looked at 44. That was the, yep. uh, the girls' team. And Charles. Kaylane also in the lineup for the Clippers. And Coriel returned with Archie. So Clippers lead 13 0 with a press on. At the lane with the ball. Got it by Parker McLaren. Over to Jason Dope. Lane goes up and is blocked. Nice defensive play by Parker McLaren. Archie over to Coriel. In the corner it goes to Kaylane. Good ball movement. Parker McLaren goes in. Nice block in the play by uh, Willis. Newbury Point seems to be driving to the hoop a lot more than they have in the past. Number three in there is Lundquist now. And Lundquist shot is good. Mike Lundquist with a three point up. And it's 13 to 3. That breaks the 13.1 by the Clippers. Yeah, and that takes a little anxiety out of uh, Georgetown. Now they know they've got the, uh, the lid off the hoop. They can come down, be a little more relaxed. There's not as much pressure to make the basket. Let's see over the ball. Over to the left to uh, Willis. Shot by Lane, oh, that's good. He banked it in up the boards onto Lane as 13 5. Five straight points for Georgetown. Coriel with the ball, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Coriel is in our back, pass it back out to Parker McLaren for three. It's around him and out. That went around twice. Willis. One push for three. It's no good, but he got fouled on the play by Coriel. And that'll be three point three, uh, three shots coming. Yeah, and Georgetown's on a nice little roll here. Uh, Casey McLaren's gonna come back in. And Mike Lundquist to go to the line to shoot three. First one's good. One more to go. Henry Edwards checking in the lineup now for Georgetown, replacing Willis. Jeff said Casey McLaren replaces Parker. McLaren. He's on by Lane, oh. knocked away. Nice, nice defensive play there by uh, Coriel to knock it away. Coriel with the ball, and we have foul on the play. Coriel drew that foul by his hustle. Fouls on Lundquist is first. 48 seconds going in the quarter. Comes up 13. All right. It's not 13. Seven, yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, it is six. Yeah, he made uh, two free calls out of the three. Yeah. McLaren, uh, no good. 
Rebound by Lucido over to Lundquist. Post him up! Post him up! Shots no good. Clippers with the rebound. Archie passes it off. Shots up no good by uh, Kaylane. Lucido over to Lundquist. 10 seconds to go. For three, it's in and out. Took the the ball. Shot is no good. He goes in, no good. He made it, but it's after the buzzer. Coriel made it from half court, but it's too late. Offense, especially, will struggle. Edwards puts the ball in play with him, Rippy. Rippy's got it by Coriel. Lane, top of the circle. Good shot to dribble. Moves in, nice pass. Shots oh, no good. Bellafay missed the rebound by the Clippers. Coriel with it. Yeah, nice pass. He's got nice body control when he drives to the hoop for a big guy, six foot six. Passes off, nice pass. Block. That was a good block by Belafe, I think. You could give yeah, Belafe, yep. Brendan Willis replaces Belafe. And it's Clippers' ball. George Coriel will put the ball in play. Clippers up 15 misses. Pocket McLaren off the boards, it's good. <laughs> I think if you were to go back and look at the uh, statistics, I think Parker is shooting much higher percentage when he uses the backboard. That's an act by Sam Jones, who Celtics used to use all the time. Yeah, the basket, the kind of basket good on this. Jake Robertson, Robertson now with nine points. He's got a foul shot coming. Newberry Ports pushing the ball up nicely. Foul was trying, on Lucido. Maybe trying to run Georgetown a lot, get him tired. Stephen McDonald in the lineup now for the Royals. And Robinson tried to complete the three point play. He doesn't, but he gets his own rebound back. Casey McClellan drives baseline, passes out. A corner to Robinson for three. It's no good. Rebound by McDonald. Gone over to Murphy. Ooh, nice, nice pick there by uh, no. Hunter Lane on uh, Coriel. Looks like Coriel might get shaken up a little bit. Coriel's ball. Cut to the hoop, guys. Cut to the hoop. Up. Nice move. Nice that move by nice. Hunter Lane. Yeah. Kind of looks like uh, Kevin McHale under there. 19-8. Put this up by 11. And that was Parker McLaren. 21-8. New report. Lucido. Hunter. No good. Murphy, Murphy's shot is good. That's a three-pointer by JT Murphy. Uh, lead, lead cut down to 10. 21-11. Shot is no good. That rebound was by uh, Willis. <coughs> Willis got it by Coriel. Lane at the top of the circle takes the three-pointer. It's in and out. That's twice That's, he rimmed it. I think it's three times today that the ball has been halfway down and it's coming back out. And the uh, clip of ball on the side is McLaren was fouled. Fouled. Fouls on uh, Lane, his second. Nope, that's his first. That's his first. They get six guys all in one foul. It's not bad. Three point has four guys with one foul. So wow. Foul, foul. Yeah. Whole new shifting in with numbers in here now. I got to get used to these guys. Okay. 
Uh, this is uh, Casey McLaren from the outside. Is no good. We go by uh, the Royals. Willis with a rebound. Over to Murphy. Shot is no good. McLaren rebound. Gangman with the ball. Four for the Clippers is Nakatone in there now. Casey McLaren with it. Gagnon, Gagnon drives, and in the corner it goes to Archie, Archie goes baseline, puts it up and no good, rebound by Hunter Lane. Underneath the lane, they travel, no, you can foul, foul underneath, no shot, so it would be um, Royals ball underneath. I think they said it on Casey Hunter. McLaren. Hunter looks uh, exhausted out there right now. He's working hard, gets the ball, he pump fakes, and gets banged around down there. Over the corner goes. Three point shot is in and out. That was by Murphy, be bumped by Casey McLaren over the Gagnon. Quickly down point to Hachi. Casey McLaren, the foul line. Only Gangan. Movement has a shot blocked. That was deflected, wasn't it? Yes, I think it was. Yeah. Murphy. Murphy at the foul line. Pass underneath the Hunter Lane. Outside it goes. Cross court back in the lane. Lane spins. Nice shot. Lane with six points and is 21 13. Clippers by eight. 325 to go in the first half. Jaggin in the baton. Outside it goes. Shot is no good. That'll be uh, the Royals ball. 308 to go in the half. Bobby. Matt, Matt Catone's giving some good hustle under there, which he can afford. Uh, that's what the coach is going to look for. You're not one of the primary players. They want to see you out there uh, hustling, maybe getting a couple fouls and um, going for the uh, steal. 308 to go in the half. Blanquist. Trevor Ward. Oh. He was wide open right there. I don't know whose man that was, but he got a real open shot. Coriel passed it off. And that knocked away by Hunter Lane. Picked up by the Royals. And we got a foul here. I think he's got a timeout. Timeout, okay. Yeah. 21 13, new report. 2.43 to go in the half. Clippers with a press. Oops, now what? This, this press also speeds up the game. It forces Georgetown to move the ball very quickly to try to break the press. Murphy with the ball. Got it by Coriel. That was kind of a token press. Stolen away by Coriel. Coriel drives, puts it up, and in. George Coriel. 23-13 Clippers. Wide against Blankers. Hunter Wayne passes inside. And now he passes back out. Oh. Knocked by Stone away by Bovey. Bovey drives, goes up, and it's a lot of him. Harry Bovey. 25 13 Clippers. Murphy with the ball. The right side of the lineup. Three point shot is no good. And the foul is going to be, oh, maybe on the lane. That's uh, going to be a second foul on the lane. And it'll be one and one. 
141 to go in the half, Clippers up by 12. Nice block out by Parker to draw that foul. Don't know how much of a foul it was because we're not really at a good angle to see how much of a push, but if it wasn't, Parker did a nice job um, drawing that foul. The shot is no good. Rebound loose, and the Royals have it. Block. Passed over the lane, now it's knocked out of bounds by the Clippers. The uh, Georgetown ball. 132 to go in a half, and reports up by 12. I don't think Weiner has taken a three-point shot yet. No, and he, had, he was big the other yeah, game. Yeah, that's one of their main weapons. Lucido with the ball. Here's now Weiner now. Pass the front, stolen away by Taka McLaren. Taka drives all the way. Back on the front of Robertson for three. He's got it. Robertson now with 12 points. And it's 28-13 for Bruce. Lundquist with the ball, got it by Ward. Over to Weiner. Lundquist up front, less than a minute to go in the half. Lucido try to get it inside, it's not out of bounds. But Josh Tombo had nine seconds on the shot clock. Five seconds to go in the half. Lane underneath it goes. The block, the block shot is no good. Rebounded, tipped back by the Clippers, picked up by Weiner. Weiner drives, puts it up, and no good. Block with a rebound. Now it's uh, Lane has it, and the foul. Across the court, the one. Georgetown's getting too many shots underneath there. I don't think Coach Clay's very happy with his players not blocking out. Not the lane, get two shots. They don't have the biggest lineup they have out there, but still you got to box out. Three throws, no good. One more coming for Lane. Georgetown's got to start making those second uh, shots off of rebounds underneath and their foul shots if they want to compete in the second half here against Newburyport. Second shot by Lane. Good. Seven points for Hunter Lane. It's 28-14 Clippers with 31 seconds to go in the half. Floriel over to Parker McClellan. Robertson, Robertson has a shot blocked by block. I said at least two blocks on by block. Woke up. That was close. Shot is no good by Gerard uh, from outside. Gerard with the rebound. The shot was by Lane. Sorry about that. Coriel with the ball. Six seconds to go in the half over to Parker McLaren. Parker to Bobby. Bobby puts it up in the air. That's the buzzer. Bobby. Bobby. So at the half, the score, Newburyport 30 and Georgetown 14. Almost a perfect half for Newburyport. I think the only thing that the coach is going to want to improve on uh, in the locker room when he talks to the players is that they Georgetown has been getting too many offensive rebounds down there, too many shots, and if they were making these shots, uh, it would definitely be a much closer game. Okay, we see. Uh, we're going to pause now and get back to the uh, break here. We'll come back when we start the second half. But the score at the end of the first half is Newburyport 30 and Georgetown 14. And we'd like to thank our sponsors, Institution for Savings, Newburyport Bank, and Giuseppe's for sponsoring our winter sports. So uh, we're going to pause quickly here. We'll be back to the start of the third period. Don't go away. A nice field goal percentage by Newburyport. Not sure what it is and the poor shooting by, not necessarily uh, poor shooting by Lack Georgetown, luck. <laughs> bad luck by Georgetown. They missed so many little bunnies underneath uh, that if they had made probably 50, 60% of them, we'd have a single digit uh, lead here for Newburyport. Took us with the balls, we stopped the second half. Coriel, Parker McLaren. Let's move the ball around today. We notice a lot more passing. Casey McLaren for three, it's no good. Block with the rebound. Oh, 
Murphy got it by Coriel. Lane with it from the foul line goes inside. Nice move. Nice move by Lane. He's got nine. Got a nice hesitation. Got uh, Casey McLaren a little off balance, and then he went straight to the hoop, and Casey wasn't able to recover. Archie puts up a shot around. Yeah, nice soft touch there. Archie with the basket by Ryan Archie. 32 16, new report. Royals with it. JT Murphy. Over to Willis. Willis with the foul line. The block. Willis gets it inside the lane. Puts up right handed this time. This time no good. Rebound by Block. Knocked out of bounds. Uh, nice try by Willis to try to save the ball. Nice hustle. Good hustle. I think George Coriel might have a bum knee. I don't think he's 100% confident uh, on it. And as a result, I don't think he's going to the uh, hoop, driving the lane as much as he did last year. And what I think he would like to do. Murphy with the ball. Lucido, uh, kick ball against the Clippers. And we set the clock to 30 seconds. It's a new rule in the NBA this year that the reset doesn't go back all the way. It just goes to 14, 14. seconds. They don't give them the 10 seconds to get the ball over the line if the ball is kicked in the forecourt. Pass the lane. Block, block with it outside. Block had four clippers uh, surrounding him right there in the paint. Yeah, it's going to be a holding foul on it. It drives Coriel. His second. First on the team this half. Royals ball. Willis will take the ball and play. What a Murphy. Murphy. Back out to Willis. Now it's thrown away by Parker McLaren. Parker drives all the way down, puts it up in. No good. Tipped up by Casey. No good. It's going to be a foul on the play. Foul is going to be on Brendan Willis, his second. In the article today in the uh, Globe, it talked about how the McLaren brothers know each other, and I think at that point right there was a good example. Uh, Casey went right to the hoop to get the rebound as his brother took the ball up the court and tried to lay it in. That's playing out in the backyard so long with each other. They know each other's moves. They know each they other, yeah. anticipate. Lane with the rebound. Comes all the way down, drives, lays it up, and a nice move by Hunter Lane. He's got some good moves. Yes, he's got a very good athlete. 33 17. He's got uh, 11 of the 17 points, oh, 18 points. What am I saying? 18. Right. 33 18. <coughs> Parker McLaren up and no good. There you go. That was a nice jump stop and a shot that. I think the coach is very happy for him to take. Willis with the ball. That's Murphy. Murphy's 22. Foul. Foul on Ryan Achi. That's his first. Matt Catone coming back in with Blaine and Gagnon. Parker comes out. Robinson. Now, post up on that guy. Uh, over to the left. Uh, it's like new lane. reports. Playing. Nice play by Gagnon. Oh, it's going to be a foul. It, was, it looked like a good defensive play there, but he must have got him in the hand. It looked like new report was playing a box and one with Casey Parker, one on one with um, Hunter Lane. The rest were just kind of forming a box in, the, in and around the lane. Murphy taking the ball out. Lucido in the lineup for the Royals. He has it. Over the lane. Inside it goes to block. Oh, yeah. Good. Ethan Block. 33 to 20. Clippers by 13. Jagged in with the ball. Tone. Now Achi. 
Shailene underneath it goes. There you go. Back to Tom. Pass it Makes back a out. nice little pass, getting the ball out. Saw that he was too far underneath the basket. Five seconds on the shot clock. On the foul line, facing the foul line shot is no good. Rebound by no one. Uh, Lane with that Lane drives on Casey McLaren. Shot is no good. And shot up no good, but there's a foul on the play. Casey made a nice defensive play there by not fouling Hunter Lane. Fouls on Kay Lane, his first. At the line, shooting two shots is Brendan Willis. Oh, go ahead. I guess he made that. 33-21. Second free throw coming for Willis. Is no good. Tipped up, rebound by Chatone. J.C. McLaren. Uh, traveling, travel on line. No, 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 that's a European step, ref. That's the European step. by 12. Luntness with the ball. Murphy, Murphy put it inside, and then he's fouled. Lane with a basket, he's gonna to go to the line for a free throw. They've got it down to 10. They're gonna start making their foul shots. Uh, Georgetown. Catone with the foul. That's five fouls against Jimmy Court this half also. Lane's free throw is up and no good. And this time it's going to be a foul and, uh, against Willis for reaching over. That's his third. Georgetown foul number 24, Freddie Willis. His third in the uh, second, second on the team this half. Again, it brings the ball up. 340 to go in the third, put this up by 10. Archie with the ball. Basket. One of the Georgetown players Georgetown. ran over the. Yeah, it was Hunter Lane. That's his third. So he'll probably be coming out soon. Then you're going to need him in the fourth period. Flip a ball. Talk to McLaren. I mean, uh, Casey, excuse me, it was Casey. He got fouled. That's the fourth on lane. Got a nice shot there uh, off the out of bounds play underneath the uh, underneath the basket. Feels no good. And does that make 0 for 5 for Newburyport on the line tonight? Yes, right. One, one for six. Good play by the, the player that shot the ball. Actually, that was the second free throw by the Clippers. Come on, you got a rebound there! Oh. Casey McLaren with a big dunk. Made a nice follow of his own miss. McLaren with the basket. 36-25, new report. Shot is good by uh, Murphy. It's just a nine point game here. Cross the board, guys. Cross the board. Clarence shot is no good. Rebounded by. There you go. There you go, James. He's got the lead. Georgetown can cut it to six with a three. Great that was good by uh, Murphy. Exactly what they did. 36-30. Newburyport's got to be careful. Ooh uh. Good help, Henry. Good help. <coughs> Not 
I got a little scared there watching that play. It looked like uh, Georgetown might have stepped in and drawn the foul, but they didn't. Casey made a nice twist and turn underneath to avoid the offensive charge. She throws no game. The foul is on Edwards. Good. 37 30 Clippers. Bovey comes in for Casey McLaren. Got a token press here trying to take Georgetown out of their offense. Georgetown moves it around nicely. Oops. Chop the foul line is no good. Block has it. Now pass outside. Delphi has it. Nice pass inside. Plus no good. He's on by Parker McLaren. 135 to go. The Clippers up by seven. Coriel with the ball. Try to slow it down a little bit now. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Coriel to Parker McLaren. Robertson. And the Bovey. There you go, Jake. Parker McLaren for three. Rebound! No good. Coriel with the rebound. Coriel has the ball. Clippers going to slow it down again. Try to set up a good shot. Parker McLaren has it. Robertson for three. No good. Rebound by uh, both teams. It's a uh, jump ball. The next now goes to Georgetown. Yeah, and I, I think the report's going to be in a uh, dog fight in the fourth period here. Georgetown is playing very, very inspired basketball. And I think if they can make a few of their shots and foul shots, I think we're gonna have a good finish to this game. Oh! So anyway, Clippers pass on each Coriel. Coriel lays it up again. Coriel. 39-30 Clippers. There you go, good fit! Coriel's with the ball. Stolen away by Bogey. Quickly down court to Coriel. Coriel drives, lays it up, no good. Rebounded by Goen. Out of bounds, it'll be Georgetown ball. This is a very important last 30, uh, 28 seconds left in the uh, quarter here. The lead is nine. Could be as little as six or as big as 12. Georgetown calls timeout. 28.3 seconds ago. These teams have five fouls to end the quarter, or if Newburyport might get it up over double digits would be a moral victory. Put the press on. That was a foul. Clippers with the press. Good press. All right, down quite easy right now. Belfe, he traveled. Well, he's down there and he traveled. So Clippers got a chance to move it up in the double digits as we were talking. Correo with the ball, 18 seconds. They'll probably look for Parker to drive to the hoop, I think, here. Nope, good defense. Good oh, defense nice by shot, Georgetown. Robertson. Moby. Moby puts up a shot. It's no good. Very strong quarter for Georgetown. Yeah, that was a good quarter by Georgetown. They're playing inspired basketball. They outscored the Clippers 16 to 9 in that quarter. Having to see Newburyport again this year. And they have a very good chance to make the state tournament also. There you go, Jason. There you go. <clears throat> with the ball. Corner for three, it's no good. There you go! Oh! Rebound, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Nice basket by McLaren. Casey McLaren. Casey McLaren. Once again, showing good body control as he slices through the defense to get to the hoop. Royals. The ball up. Line up. Got it by Robertson. 
Block has it. And Lucido back to it. Lucido made a good move. And shot it. He jumped off. Possession now goes to Georgetown. That's the third time I've seen that tonight. That happened twice in the JV game. Not too often that happens. Speaking of JVs, the Newport JVs won 59 to 44 today. Uh, as did the freshmen also, so it could be a, a three-peat. Right down the strike is no good. Rebounded by Felipe. Royals coming back, Murphy. Underneath knocked away by uh, Casey McLaren. And now uh, uh, Casey has it. Drive all the way down, Casey McLaren puts up left hand and it's good. I think Casey could be a good guard at the next level. He yeah. handles the ball very well. He's been kind of working that all, uh, all the time with him. Yeah, that's yeah. That's where he figured this is where he's going to play. And he jumps center and that's about it as far as the center job. All right. Clip is the effective press here, I'm putting a lot of pressure on. And might be uh, is that a kick ball. Or? Yeah, there's a yeah. kick. Reset the clock again. Yeah, 30 seconds. Wales. Lucido has it now. Down court. Lane. That's five fouls on Lane. He ends up with 13 points. He's, a, he's his size. He has some good moves on Lane too. Yeah, right? yeah. And he can go. He goes. He's mostly left hand, but he can go to his right once in a while when he has to. His dad said he's gonna probably play football next year. Not gonna concentrate on basketball, but they have some good club teams around the colleges. Now, you say he was so he, talking about San Anselmo, maybe? Yes, yes. McLaren has it. Spin passes back out. And the Connor Robertson. Correll cross court goes to Bovey. There you go! He's going away by Georgetown. There you go, come on now. Murphy brings it down court. 12 is McDonald. Murphy, seven seconds on the shot clock. Murphy, shot is no good block, out of bounds. He tried to get the rebound, but it's just out of bounds. So so I, I think this is probably the most important trip down the floor for uh, for both teams. Now, if I think if Newburyport can get it up to 15, I think it might be curtains for Georgetown. On the other hand, if Georgetown can stop them here, I think it's still going to be a good game. Casey drives, lays it up and in, and he gets fouled. Casey McLaren. 15 points and one more shot coming. 45-30. Fouls on Lewis, his fourth. He's got four. And Casey McLaren can shoot one. Casey's got 50, uh, 15 points, looking for 16. He had only four at the half. Yeah, I think he's big gonna, second half. Gonna try to get to his average. I think he's averaging 20, 20 points something on the season. So he's probably gonna get that. Josh down with the ball. Lucas shot is no good. They haven't had much luck. They've had a lot no, of shots roll no, around. I, at, le at least 10 points. Shot by Block, no good. Rebound by Block again. Good effort. Out of bounds will be Josh down ball. Murphy will put the ball in play. Lundquist. Shot is no good. Rebounded. Now it's Josh on steals it away. Wow. Fouls on Bobby, his third. And at the line is Brendan Willis to shoot two. So every foul the rest of the way is going to be uh, shooting fouls to be the team. First week was good. 
One more free throw for Brendan Willis. 46-31 for this. The referees have done a good, good job overall tonight. Second shot, no good rebound by Casey McLaren. Lord Coriel, 4.44 to go in the game. Coriel, Bovey. Oh, almost thrown away. Parker McLaren has it. Jump shot from the foul line is good by Parker McLaren. He's got six. Up to 17 points now. Lundquist. Brendan Willis has it. The Lundquist. Willis for travel. Four oh three to go in the game. Louis puts up by seventeen. Coriel. Casey McLeod now over to uh, Robinson. Connor goes to Parker. No good. Rebound. Foul's going to be on Bovey. This four. Parker looked like he might have uh, short-armed that uh, that shot. It didn't look like a natural movement of his arm, uh, his forearm. Looks like he uh, short short-armed it. Willis is line one and one. He throws good. One more coming for Willis. 48-32 for this. Ryan Archie in. Second free throw, no good. Rebound by Robertson. Going to Coriel. 340 to go in a game. Parker McLaren is fouled. So Parker McLaren shooting one and one. Fouls on Ethan Watt, his second. I think Parker's averaging 14. How many does he have tonight, Richie? He has seven right now. Seven? 49-32 Clippers. One more coming. 50. Eight points now for Parker McLeod. Royals with the ball. Lundquist. Going away by the Clippers. Archie gets it down for the uh, Coriel. Coriel with the basket. 52-32 Clippers. So I predicted it was going to be a close game, and uh, it's up 20 now. So that's, I guess, one of the reasons I'm sitting here with you, Richie. <laughs> and beneath it goes. Shot is good. That was by Block. 52-34. And eight to goes. The final shot is good. Rebound by the Royals. Sean Orr has rebound down the first. Next was down to Lucido. And eight to goes. Block. Block. Passes back out to McDonald for three. No good. Rebound by the Clippers. That's what Georgetown's looking to do, though. Get the ball underneath and then uh, pitch it out to an open three-point shooter. Coriel with the ball. 2.20 to go. Parker McLaren now. Archie. Casey McLaren for three. No good. Rebounded by Georgetown. Block has a rebound. Oh, what a Lundquist. McDonald over McConnor. That was Edwards. Uh, hustle down after it. Quite oh, nice hustle by Coriel, you know. He's an uh, 18-point lead and he's still hustling. Yeah, yeah. Coach likes to see that. So do we. And the lineup for the report now, number 15 is 
got 15? Yes. I don't even have them on the roster. Hold on. I don't have a 15 listed. No. Uh, I know Monet was in, uh, not in the I haven't seen him. It either, might so. be Nick White or Luke Young have not. Or yeah. Luke Young uh, is number five. All right, that foul there was <laughs> Robertson with a foul at the line. Is Jack Lucido. One more coming from Lucido. Trevor Ward in the lineup. That is no good. Rebound by McFarland. The, uh, the young kids behind us are cheering and chanting, they want Nico. With it. Yeah, that might be white number 15. I don't know. There's a shot by McLaren, no good. to back. Uh, we'll find out right now. Powers on block. Oh, no, no, it's not white because 10 is out there. Project number four, Ethan Rock. No, I'm not going to mention he's taking a shot. This Henry Newman is in. Yeah, Monet is 14. Captain Nicholas Le Levasseur is also in. Rebound. <coughs> with the ball. Underneath. And a foul is going to be on uh, That's 14, Monet. Aiden Monet. Coach Clay still coaching the team up. Doesn't like to see anybody get sloppy or not do their assignment properly. Jason Belfay at the line. Free throws good. One more coming. 53-37. That's his first hoop. Wow. Three point shot by Nico's no good. Rebound by Boney, no good. 
Maloney puts up again, he's fouled. Fouls on LFA. And nice work down there Aiden by Aiden Monet. Monet. Coach loves to see that effort. That'll get him some more playing time. Aiden Monet at the line. Shoot. Two. Free throw is good. 54 40. Puts it up and no good. Uh, buzzer sound in the game. Uh, good victory for the Clippers tonight. Mm -hmm. Last year they outscored uh, Georgetown 15 to 10. Set up a 54 40. So the Clippers outscored Georgetown 15 to 10 on the fourth quarter. So outside of the third quarter, it was all new report. It's been double figures every one of those quarters. Yeah, new report, I think, just out, uh, outplayed him in. in you got to give Georgetown a lot of credit. They came in here undermanned, uh, and they really, really gave a good effort. Their coach, I think, should be proud of them. They were just out, man. Newburyport just has a little more talent, and it showed. Okay, so uh, we'll do the uh, recap. And uh, before I do, again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Institution for Savings. New report back at Giuseppe's We're doing a uh, sponsorship uh, this for this sports for us. We appreciate it very yeah, much. Yeah, can't do it without them. So, individual scoring for New Report. George Curio with six. Harry Bovey, six. Jake Robertson, 12. Casey McLaren, 16. Parker McLaren, eight. Ryan Archie, four. And Nick Monet, eight. Monet, one. And uh, again, I don't know who number 15 was. We're looking at the roster. I'm thinking it might be. It could have been um, Nick White, uh, Luke Young. Maybe Luke Young, because Nick White was out there number 10. So it could have been Luke Young, who was listed as number 5. But uh, sorry, we couldn't. Um, we just saw the note just the first time we saw the change in the numbers. So. But anyway, a total of 54 for uh, Georgetown. Uh, uh, Weiner, <laughs> excuse me, had three. Jack Lucido, uh Good score that JT Murphy had eight. Brendan Willis, three. Hunter Lane at 13 before fouling out. Ethan Block with four. Uh, Mike Lundquist had six. And Jason Belfe had one. And uh, two points for Henry Edwards. So a uh, good victory for the Clippers. They, they're setting up a game now coming up fri uh, Friday night against Masco. Right. No, Masco's yep. been struggling this year. Yes. So uh, Yeah, they're winless. Uh, but you can never tell if Newburyport comes out Friday night, and they kind of have the bad luck that Georgetown had tonight. Couldn't put the um, the ball in the ocean. The ball just keeps out of the uh, out of the basket. Yeah, anybody can beat anybody in this league. Right, and now, especially when you got a, a undefeated, that puts a little arrow on you, you know, the spot, the right. target, the target's well, on you, everybody wants to try to go beat the, uh, exactly. the undefeated team. Exactly, that would be a nice feather in Masco's cap if they could come in here Friday and knock off uh, Newburyport. So, for uh, Jeff Foley and Sarah Bocha, our camera person for tonight, uh, this is Richie Eaton saying thanks for being with us. The final score, New Report 54, Georgetown 40.